Now, since the start of this year, young people have to stay in education or training until they're 18. So for those who aren't interested in an academic career, there are colleges providing vocational training. And East Kent College in Dover has just spent nearly £3 million upgrading facilities there. Sam Holder has the story. Please ensure mobile phones and any other electronic equipment is switched off. Please make sure your seat is in the upright position. Travel and tourism students eager to get their careers off to a flying start. Training in the newly refurbished hospitality department at East Kent College in Dover and the hands-on experience has already paid off. I've been doing this course for a year, um, just finishing my first year and I saw an advertisement online um, and I thought I'm just going to apply for it. Didn't think I'd going to be successful but I was. Nicholas had practice using the college's new air cabin featuring seats and catering facilities taken from real planes. It's part of an upgrade for vocational courses, costing 2.9 million. The state-of-the-art engineering centre cost nearly a million pounds alone, and budding car mechanics have the latest motors. Um, it's been a huge improvement over last year. With all the new funding that's just come in, we can now um, be prepared to work on brand new cars that are coming out in, in the industry. The college has campuses in Dover, Folkestone and Broadstairs and prides itself on providing training for students in jobs local to each area. It's all about meeting the needs of the local community. We're very much supporting the Port of Dover's needs and they hardly need the engineering skills that we can offer them. Um, and they've been very much part of developing these facilities with us. The campus used to be part of the debt-ridden K College and was given an inadequate Ofsted rating in 2013. But with new management and investment, the college is helping these students get up to speed. Sam Holder, ITV News, Dover.